Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will talk about the click sense variables. So variables, if you are coming from a programming background, you are aware that uh, these are very useful and useful in a perspective that uh, dynamically you can change the value in the program or the, in the output and uh, see the result as per your needs. So for example, if you are evaluating your product uh, on a different geographical areas based on the different tax rates, so you can keep shifting the tax rate and see how the product will finally come out as an example. And a uh, couple of other things, like I said, what if analysis is something very useful with the variables because you have the flexibility that you can change the value of a variable and that's why the name variable itself it suggests that it's the movement but what's the definition within the click sense well in the click sense it is a named entity that contains a single value right now you can assign a fixed value or an expression to the click sense variable right so you have two ways Either there will be a fixed value, like for example, you have given a name or a fixed value, uh, for example, numerical value to it, or an expression like sum of sales, average sales, or, or a big expression like set analysis that we had discussed in the previous videos, uh, where it, it contains a lot of uh, information about the how you want to, you know, create an expression within the visualization and the benefit of con a variable containing an expression is that suppose one expression like sum of sales or a complex expression like sum of a particular country sales of a particular country or a particular product is used 15 different places right and uh, tomorrow let's say if that product is continued and a new product need to be inserted then if you have that expression within the variable then you just have to change one variable and everywhere in in the visualization or in the charts if you have used that variable your expression will be changed and you don't have to go through the pain of changing the expression in 15 different visualization so it's better to have such expression which have been used multiple times in the visualization you uh, store it in the variable so that whenever tomorrow it is changing you just change it at one place and 15 20 or 50 different places wherever the expression have been used it will be changed automatically so that's that's a very very important use case and we use it all the time uh, for scenarios like this to make the maintenance of the application very easy all right let's move ahead now there are two places where you can define the variable one is the script editor and second is the sheet editor so let's go in and see it so over here i have this application and let's go into the sheet editor i am into the edit mode and if you see this is a variable window and in the variable i have some variables either these are some predefined uh, or one which was created by me so if i need to create one i will just click on create new i need to provide the name of the variable so name of the variable i will suggest in two ways the way i have learned it is v uh, which basically uh, reflects the a variable which contains a static value v uh, maybe factor name something like this is equals to 2.5 suppose some factor that you want to apply to an expression uh, in, in a form of a what if analysis right or maybe like um, product name is equals to furniture something like that right so we basically uh, used for a variable name which contains a static value and suppose your variable contains an expression value then i suggest that you start with e and uh, then say furniture sales is equals to sum of uh, and within that expression you can specify okay like a set analysis for example product category is equals to you know that we discussed this in the previous video how to do that so if 
you are finding it a little bit uh, uneasy with this I would suggest that watch my previous video of set analysis so what we are basically saying that this contains the um, product category uh, furniture sales and uh, now I can use in 10 15 20 different places wherever I need to use this expression so these are the two ways in which you can specify so if you recall this is prefixed with e indicates that it is an expression so suppose uh, once you are in a long way uh, down to your uh, developing an uh, developing the product or the visualizations or charts and you have used uh, 15 or 100 different expression having them prefix with e will help you understand that this is an expression right this variable contains an expression and you can just simply go in there and if it is prefixed with v then you can see and you can understand that it is some static value all right so those kind of things makes our maintenance of the variable a bit easy as compared to simply saying furniture sales now we don't know what what's really going on whether it is a static value or the expression if i prefix with e here in this case then i can clearly understand or prefix with v and if I specify a static value i can clearly make the uh, uh, difference between the two ones all right so that's one way so for now i will just uh, not enter it but uh, here you can specify the name here you can specify the definition you know that expression i was specifying like a sum of sales or something like that here the name will come v sales say for example like that and then some description any tags from the perspective of searching if you want to search it or uh, want to you know identify it later in a program and later in the development in terms if it is too much too many variables so for now um, I will just start for the creation I will just click outside and it will create a new variable like this and if I want to further make any changes I will just go ahead and click on this pencil icon if I want to delete I can go ahead and delete it and click OK so now that is deleted all right now uh, let me go into the expression editor and show you there sorry the data load editor and the uh, data load editor will show us the main screen and you see that some of these variables have been defined with set so this is what I have not covered I will cover in the uh, next um, line like uh, there are two ways by which you can define the variable one is set another one is let what is the difference well set is used when you need to define a static value and that is specific to your data load editor not in the sheet editor which I showed you just now so here if you see we have clearly specified set and it's a static value that we are specifying in each of this case and uh, you need to use let v today which is variable today is equals to num today use let when you need to define a variable or the uh, expression so for example let e sales is equals to sum of sales something like that but always remember that this field this should be used only after you have specified the table otherwise it will return an error because say for example if I go in this section where I have this orders table and here it has the sales the logic is that your data should be loaded first before you can use any of this field right so something like uh, uh, let e sales is equals to sum of sales now you see it is readily available for us so this way I can go ahead and use it and I need to specify the semicolon just to make sure that I'm not uh, uh, giving any error to the program so once I'm done I will hit save and I will load the data and this variable will be present for me in the front end which I can go ahead and use it and make the changes as I need right so if there is anything else no that's pretty much it for this video and this is very very important and very important subject and very important topic 
in terms of doing an efficient programming there are always a question about how we should create an efficient program how we should we should create an efficient applications always remember variable will give you a way in which you can create an efficient application and once you really understand the impact of a variable you can create wonders and you can really amaze your audience the way in which you can do the things so we will see a couple of different things related to the variables in the upcoming video so stay tuned with me on this variable topic and we will going to learn a lot so that's pretty much it for this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic